from the Orchid Saga. So yeah, it's, it's quite sunny actually, so it's a very uh, nice day for my orchids again. I really, really enjoy uh, the upcoming uh, seasons, the spring and summer and that sun. I missed it really, uh, really much during uh, uh, autumn and, uh, and winter. But anyhow, that's not why we're here. <laughs> we are here for this uh, fairly uh, big one. This is one of my first Nelly Eilers. Uh, well, actually, it's the first one that I kept alive. <laughs> I have it now for several years and, this years, and it's doing uh, very well. And it really gets to a side that I really need to uh, repot it. And I know I have quite some repots videos done lately on my channel. But yeah, the Nelly Eiler, uh, I think uh, quite a few people will be interested in uh, to see a little bit more about uh, th that one. Because it can be quite tricky to grow. And I, uh, like I just said, I did lost quite a few of them. But nowadays they do fairly well. We have even more there. But this one, uh, like I said, this is the biggest and it needs a repot. So uh, let's uh, start uh, going with this one. Okay, and here she is. The beautiful Nelly Eiler. This is the Swiss Beauty. And this one I easily could uh, divide because I have several directions of growth. Uh, but I don't want to. I would like to grow it as big as I can. So I try to keep it as one plant. And we have quite some new growths. We have one here. And I have... Uh, where is the other one? We have one here. And one there. And we have one here. Another one there. And I think there are even a few more. But anyhow, you get the point. And yeah, this one is uh, very... Uh, getting to the point to, uh, of a little bit unruly. We have even some new growths in here. This one is making, there goes the tag. And one here. So it's really is climbing, doing different things. But yeah, I need to uh, get it, uh, these new growths closer uh, to a uh, pot again. They are a little bit too high up, I think. And I think this nearly wants to uh, have some more room. And the last time that I did repot it was actually also uh, in January. I know this video will be later on because I have so many repotting videos, but I'm repotting this one in, uh, in January as well. So three years later, that is uh, nice. I never, uh, when I started growing the, them, I never thought a day would come that I really needed to repot them because they are getting so big. Because I ke kept on losing them. And this is maybe me th my third one. So I lost two because I, I knew that I, I couldn't grow them and uh, like my uh, Miltoniopsis and those started to do better and then I thought I should try an Ellie again and uh, yeah I think we are doing at least better yeah we have quite some uh, whoops there goes a pebble I hope you can see quite some roots here and I used some Cintiq as we can see, plus these small pommes that I already have uh, ready on, t on the table. And I think I'm only going to up it with uh, small pommes, but we uh, shall see. We have some Cintiq there that is to get those roots going. Once they do grow, I think we don't need as much Cintiq anymore. So, uh, but first, <laughs> first job is to get it out of the pot. Let me check these roots. Most of them are still firm. So, here we go. They go. They're going. Are the first pebbles going? <laughs> Squeezing the pot a little bit. Yeah, this one comes out fairly easily. I hope you can see. There she is. Just putting it down in this little pot. Let me uh, see if I can get a water meter out because we don't need to use it in this new setup that I have in mind for her. So I then can use this one with other orchids, of course. Saves me a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Let me, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the roots a bit better. Let me see. Here is the zoom in button. There we are. So yeah, we have, uh, I think, quite a beautiful root system. I have some darkened roots, but those feel still firm. So yeah, I'm not going to mess with this at all. Let me check. 
maybe a few dead roots but just just a few so I'm not going to untangle everything in here as you can see we have a beautiful color still here fresh roots I'm keeping it like it is I'm just gonna up pot it and that is uh, basically it so uh, that's a good thing of course that means that this one is really uh, doing well so yeah for this Nelly I'm going to use a, a net pot as well because I, uh, it's not that high uh, the width is very nice of the pot that was the word I'm looking for <laughs> So um, yeah, we do quite go quite quite uh, some size up if you compare it with the uh, old pot. Let me grab it quickly, as you can see. So yeah, we have a lot of room next to uh, more to work with, I should say, next to the new growth. So I hope that is enough. Uh, it also can use a little layer. So I'm going to put in a, a little bit of uh, small pumice first. I just have new pumice, which is also very dusty. My Keep us, try to spray it a little bit and that helps for the dust <laughs> or all water with a little bit of seaweed but still very dusty this is new pumice but it's uh, very very dusty yeah it came that way so it's not the best one but it doesn't affect the orchids as well all right as well it doesn't affect the orchids but I don't like the dust as much around me, of course, but yeah. What can we do? <laughs> Let me see if I, uh, yeah, I think this is a right angle. I'm going to put her a little bit on the edge of the pot, I think. Let me check. This is too close to the pot because now it's already uh, on the edge of the pot as well. So I need to move it a little bit, a little bit more in the middle, like that. Yeah, let me check. Now these growths are going into the pot. <laughs> it, it has two new growths here, one here and making another one there. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to remove this leaf to make some room for new roots. I'm just leaving it. It's now loose so they can push it uh, away, the roots, if they need to. Yeah, this should do it, I think. Checking, still checking if I have the right position here. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit laying in a pot where I prefer it to stand up a little bit more, but it's kind of difficult in this position because they are all leaning forward. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it like this. Just the remaining pumice, I can reuse it. It's the same orchid, so I don't have to boil it or anything. And yeah, let's fill up the pot as good as we can. So I need to move them a little bit away. <laughs> And then this side, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this one is growing. It's absolutely magnificent for Nelly Eiler. I'm so, so happy. I really enjoy them. <laughs> Inter calls uh, his Schmelly Nelly. Schmelly Nelly. I found it to be so funny. But um, yeah, he is. When, uh, when he, uh, his one was in bloom, he uh, said it was very peppery smell. Or fragrance wise where mine are more um yes yeah, sweet it's it's not as sweet as some orchids but i really really love the the fragrance but yeah i, I hear quite a lot of people that they, they don't like the fragrance of nearly eyelash and it somehow surprised me a little bit because i love it <laughs> funny how things like that worked it's a very personal taste but also uh, fragrance but yeah if you have an Nelly and you don't like it I'm sorry but I uh, I, I do <laughs> in the end it doesn't matter because it has beautiful blooms of course but yeah and it can be uh, quite uh, fragrant on times when I have my Nellies in bloom I really uh, can smell the fragrance 
here in, in, in everywhere in the grow house so they are very uh, powerful but once again i really uh, enjoy it so i don't mind at all meanwhile i think we are done let me uh, lift this look at that beautiful basket full of new pumice for hopefully those new roots to grow in let me check yeah and you can see here yeah how much she is leaning so yeah but that means that the new growths are fairly close to the new media now and that's what we uh, we wanted of course so yeah i think it was maybe searching for the light or something i don't know or maybe because it's such a climber those bulbs did get a bit heavier and that's why it started to lean over I'm not sure that's just I couldn't imagine because it's very loose so with all the weight with the spikes I think it does push them a little bit more in this angle I think but uh, who knows so uh, yeah I need now a layer of pebbles and then I think we are done for this one so I'm, I'm still filming this because like I said I think a lot of people uh, enjoy the, uh, to watch Nelly Eilers, repots, etc. And also I, uh, I, I like to do updates and then we have a nice starting point, I think. And if people ask how I do repot them, I can now link them to this video. So that's nice. And maybe, maybe, who knows? You like it, this video, and you want to share it. Please go ahead. <laughs> it helps the channel, of course. But um, yeah, like I said, I had quite a few uh, repot videos. I hope I didn't overdo it. But this is a beautiful time for repots. And to be honest, I had to do a little bit more than I thought. That's always happening to me. I, th I always think I need to do a few. And then I see other orchids and I'm like, yeah, probably should give them a little bit more room or clean up a little bit. So uh, that's why we have a few more. But I, whoops, I don't mind. I like uh, the rep the uppottings like this one so easy. I don't mind, but the repots when we start with orchids are they do not so well, and we have to cut off uh, quite some roots, etc. I don't like it at all. But these repots, these are this orchid, barely. I think it barely uh, realized that it has been repotted. I think, but who am I? You never know, of course. But I think because we barely did touch that root system, so it should be fine. So I'm going to flush it and then uh, we will visit her again at the shelf. And there she is again. Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> but we have way more room. It doesn't look like it because once again she's hanging. She's in a strange growing position. But some of the new growths as you can see are growing upwards towards the light. The artificial light is hanging above them I, I think. And the rest, well, it will find its way, <laughs> I believe. But I hope now the new roots will find the, the media a bit better because they are now way closer to it. And I didn't use a water meter because I really can see very easily if there is water in there, but it doesn't show up on camera because it's too dark. But yeah, you may, can see now a bit of a reflection there of the window and that's from the water. So you can see it there as well. So yeah. It obviously has water in it and of course I did put the tag back so yeah three years of growth and this was a very easy up potting because the root system is fine maybe here and there a little bit of older maybe dead roots that's it but I don't uh, yeah it's not worth a risk I think to open up that roots that clump of roots I uh, I mean so it's not really uh, worth a risk like I said to make it all loose because then I will break so many roots so I just keep it like this once again that's the beauty of growing in inorganic media I love it I really love it so I hope you uh, do like it as well <laughs> we will keep an eye on her and the rest of them those two are still fine in their pots even though I have a strange hanging one there in the back as well I don't know if you can see it don't know why they do it anyhow and this one this is the yellow one i'm still waiting on a new growth on this one so as soon as that new growth is coming this will uh, get in the, in the new setup as well so that is it for now and as usual if you have any questions or suggestions please uh, leave them in the comment section below and if you like give this a video a like 
If you didn't already ha have, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. And of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.